It's been a long time since I sat down and did a Kami Got Kill review. Like, it's been about two months, maybe even longer, maybe almost close to three months since I've done an Akami Got Kill review. God, I, I, I can't believe it's been that long. But anyways, we got two chapters today translated. I know chapter 58 was translated last month, but it was an April Fool's type translation. And I was like, fuck this shit. I'm not fucking reading that. Like, the, just like, no, I, I wasn't reading that garbage translation. That was an April Fool's joke, even though it wasn't really that funny. So, I'm just letting you know. That's why I didn't mention Akami Got Kill chapter 58 or even try to review it, because that was... That, that translation, like, what the fuck. So, I'm glad to see it finally translated. And we have two chapters. One from this month, one from last month that finally took time to get translated. And it's finally out. I'm not going to tell you what website it is because, you know, YouTube copyright. I can't mention what site I read it on. Just letting you know. Just go to Google. Type in the chapter. You should be able to find it. So, there you go. Anyways. Chapter 59 that came out this month. Only had like 24 pages, 24 or 25 pages, and that's like a weekly chapter length. And I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, <sighs> it really is disappointing when I saw that because I'm like, so if I already had chapter 58, like if we would have already have had chapter 58 of a Kami Ga Kill, already translated and came out last month, we would only have had 24 pages, 24 to 25 pages this month, and that's barely any content when it comes to terms of what that chapter really stood for so I was kind of upset with how that chapter was kind of just there to be there but we do know we're in the final arc of Akami Got Kill so maybe the manga is trying to slow down the pacing of the series for it can be drawn out just a little bit longer maybe have a possibility of a part two if this is the final arc but we'll have to see how that goes anyways with this chapter let's dive into the reviews Chapter 58. I'm actually just going to go back and forth between. I'm not going to really have what chapter I want to talk about both. I'm just going to talk about them both combined. So these two chapters are very straight to the point. Very simple. The danger beast that was introduced at the end of chapter uh, 57. Uh, Cosmina, the danger beast hybrid thing. She starts attacking the rebels and beating the shit out of them. Killing them, eating them. All sorts of crazy crap going on. And we've come to find out that Cosmina, since she did care for her friends quite a bit. She wasn't attacking her own friends. But she was attacking everybody else. So we get to find some clarification on that. But Cosmina, first glance, first look at her, incredibly strong. I mean, she's a danger beast, top tier danger beast according to the men. And she was just killing fucking everybody and also survived a slash from Akame's te Tegu. So I was like, whoa, whoa, that, that's pretty crazy. That's a crazy feat. And then also you had it to where there was counters put in place for Akame's Tegu or Imperial Arms. And it goes to show you the planning of our little alchemist in this chapter these past two chapters so the fighting is pretty much what goes on in these two chapters like there's nothing but fighting going on set up for fights and there's not really any conclusion to some of the fights i mean there is to like two fights but majority of the fights are just being you know started like that's what's going on so we're having a little battle going on and the way it's looking since these are monthly chapters and the way the pacing was done with this recent chapter 59 I'm assuming that this fight could probably go on for another two, maybe even three months. And that's... Oh, shit. So... Yeah, because, I mean, you gotta figure this out, okay? If we have, let's say, another chapters that are 24 pages, or even, you know, 30-something pages, one entire chapter could just focus on one of these fights. You know, like, Cosmina versus our main male character, Tatsumi. That, that's what could one chapter be entirely about but one chapter could be about akame versus you know the others the you know the freaking danger beast attacker and stuff like that i mean there's just all sorts of different things going on here and we have to wonder like how long is this fight going to go how long is it going to be drawn out because we are in the final arc and i was assuming since majority of the arcs of akame got kill last 12 chapters at maximum i thought it was only going to be 12 chapters but the way this is looking if we are in the final arc this could last maybe even until next year at the end of next year the way it's going but hey, I mean, let's not miscredit the uh, offer of the manga of the series, because if he wants to write more content for the series, I'm, I'm glad, and I'll gladly read it, because e you can say what you will, you can put down a Kami Ga Kill, and I put it down enough times myself. Say what you will, it is pretty entertaining, for the most part. It's an entertaining series to read, and I enjoy reading it every so often, and I mean, hey, it's a Kami Ga Kill. So getting back on topic, 
The chapter structure is fighting and showcasing Cosmina as a danger beast of how strong she is. And Tatsumi uses one of his remaining transformations into Incursio in this fight. Because as we know, we can, he can only transform into Incursio four times. And he just used one, so that means he only has three times and then he's going to probably die. So that just goes to show us right now, he has this limit, he has this time limit in fights, and the way it's going, the way it's developing, you can assume that Tatsumi is probably going to die by the end of the series. He's probably going to use up all of his modes of Incursio, he's going to use all four times, I and mean, he's probably going to kill himself in his final battle with Esdeath. Because we got to think about this, I mean, the final battle with Tatsumi is probably going to be Esdeath, and that's probably going to be a ridiculous battle. Most likely, Tatsumi is going to have another transformation to go up against Esdeath's army. If you remember, she had that other ability, other trump card that she didn't really show us. So yeah, I mean, it's obvious that Tatsumi is probably even going to have to push past four times. He's probably going to die. Now, Akame, Akame loses her blade in this. Like, she doesn't completely lose her blade. Like, she lost at first when she got into the fights, and she had to use a regular dagger and knife and stuff to start taking down these beasts because her the, a counter against her when she was using her sword, her tegu, was just taken away from her. She couldn't get it out of the dude's corpse. So it shows you that Akame, even though she doesn't have her imperial arm, she is an incredible fighter, she's an incredible assassin, and she's not really that weak even when she doesn't have her imperial arms. She can still hold her own and she's very lethal as a fighter. And then also you have to wear Leone, she also backs this up and says like, I'm the exact same way. I'm very lethal too, and she's about to go up against our little alchemy girl at the end of the chapter and then the chapter ends, and I'm like, what the fuck is this, 24 pages, so... <sighs> that's it. I mean, it's very, very simple. Like, I mean, there's not much depth to it. Like, you know, I can't really dive in deep what's going on because it's just fighting. It's just fighting. That's what really is happening here. And, I mean, I do like one panel. I like one panel specifically in uh, Chapter 58. There was two panels, actually, I truly loved. I like the panel where you saw Akame get sliced in half. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, she got sliced in half. And then that page after that, after she kills the dude and it was just a vision or a hallucination, you see it to where Akame looks back at the dude that's on the ground. He's like, take my katana, you're a, you're a fellow katana user. And then Akame looks at him like, I was never a swordsman. That right there, fucking badass. I, I have to say, that was fucking badass. Like, <laughs> that was fucking badass. So, yeah, that's that's the chapter. I mean, tell me your thoughts. H how do you feel about Akame Got Kill? How do you feel about not reading this for the past two months, almost three months? Do you hope we get faster translations next month? I hope we do. Anyways, love y'all. You have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Shibia.